Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, I am finally doing a video on my updates on the markets and the cows I'm doing and a finished object. So let's get started. So the cows, I oh, the markets, let's start with the markets. Um, I did good sales, slightly better than last month, but it was extremely hot. Um, the first couple of hours, the early hours in the morning were frantic, but as it got closer to noon and the heat, um, the crowd died down and the sales weren't that great. But up until then, it was pretty awesome. And as it got hotter, people got grumpier, me included. Um, some of the things I don't want to hear at the markets when I'm hot and grumpy are I could make it cheaper myself. Um, what was the other one? I do a better job of it if I did it myself. Um, my daughter's an artist. I'm sure she could learn to crochet and do a better job. Yes, they made me grumpy. I think it was the heat more than anything. There were lots of positives, but you always remember the three negatives that really uh, irk you when you're hot, tired and doing your best. Anyway, I had good sales, so I have yet to work out the profit. I imagine it will be quite substantial and I haven't decided yet who I will donate that to in November but I'll let you know in a future video. So that brings me to the cows and of course my cow the birth strain make along. So we'll start with October. I asked the subscribers and the people taking part which um, yarn should I put in the prize pack for October because October was opal and it was really difficult for me to decide. So I put on offer, it could be this darker parody colour, which is a Red Heart Aran made for the Australian Yarn Company, and it's made in India, um, Aran weight. And then the other choice was Spotlight Prints, which is a saver yarn in these milky opal colours. And um, I asked everyone to leave a comment and choose which they would like to see go in the prize pack. Guess what? It surprised me. 95% of people liked this one and wanted it to go into the prize pack. So that will go into the prize pack for October's Opal. But because I was such a grump at the markets, I decided I needed to be a nicer person. So I am going to put both into the prize pack. This one does go really nicely with another colour in our prize pack. So there will be two for October. The Aran is a 300 gram. I need glasses, Judy. That's a 300 gram ball and that's 140 grams. Well and truly covering the 100 gram prize for October. But I thought it would be nice to put both in. So both of them are going into the prize pack for the birthday in May long. We are getting some really nice pictures for November. And of course, November is um, citrine, which I gave color ranges of the orange and some pale yellows and white. And there's some lovely pictures coming through. So keep posting your pictures with the hashtag birthday at MalAU. For me, I can't open my V-stitch blanket right up but I did orange, of course, my favourite colour, or one of my favourite colours. But yes, this would be my number one favourite. Um, my V-stitch blanket is looking awesome. I will put a border on it when I finish it in December and I'll show you the finished blanket. I may take a photo of it in the meantime. So that brings me to cowl number two. Yes, I decided I would join Gary from Urban Yarns Make Along Bush Tracker Beanie Make Along. Now I'll leave a link to his video in the description below because it's not too late to join. You can, it closes end of November and you can make a Bush Tracker Beanie. Now if you don't knit, there's also a crochet pattern by Crystal from Bag A Day, a lookalike beanie. I'll put a link to that too. For me, of course, I made both. I've made both before, but this time I decided I would make the smaller size. So, I think last time I did the medium. This time I did the small. This is Gary's 
knitted bush tracker beanie. This head's not very good. I thought it might um, fit Finn because he has a pin head, but it is a little small. I did want the smaller size. Um, I really like this knitted pattern, even though the harem bone section with the bigger needles is really hard for me with my hands. It gives me grief. But that was number one. And of course, I'm going to do Crystal's Crochet Lookalike Pushback Tracker Beanie. This time I just did it in one colour. This is the Spotlight um, USA style 10 ply yarn. It's lovely and soft. And this is popular with um, Crochet for Cancer, this particular yarn and this hat style. So yes, I did the small in crystals to get it to a smaller size. I think she uses a 5mm crochet hook. I used a 4.5 just to take it down a touch. For this beanie, I used Lion Brand's Wool Ease Tonal. I don't have any left. It was a partial ball. Um, I'll just pause the video while I find my glasses. Now I have tonal left in a different colour. Woolies tonal. I bought quite a bit of this when it was on sale. It's a five bulky. Um, it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. But I use this colour, this blue. I can't remember what this one's called. Blue Ocean or something. The red's called Vermilion. But yeah. I really know you like this yarn and I think it's really great for bush tracker beanies. And I think that's really like the knitted beanie. And I may have to make him some more for when he's ready to travel overseas. So guys, make sure you join in um, the bush tracker beanie make along. Whether you knit or crochet, there is an option there for you guys to do. So that brings me to my cowl for Zeta's Place Calendar Cowl 2021 or 2021 and November's. Um, I'll pause the video again, won't be a moment. So here is my cowl. This is for November's picture. Now this is my pattern and it is a lightweight three or eight ply that I have used. And I came up with this pattern to do for November. I really like this pattern. Um, and that is for Zeta's Place Calendar Cow for November. I am going to, because it's I did it in eight ply or a three DK weight, I'm going to try it out in a heavier weight yarn. And if it turns out, now it is knitted, I'm going to draft a pattern um, for people to try if they want to make it. Um, whether it's a three weight or a heavier weight yarn. It'll be a free pattern I put in the make along group if I can upload it there, the PDF. But yeah, I really do like that. It's got a nice texture. It's perfect for tropical winters and those cool nights. And that's the size I like. But the pattern will tell you, you can make it as long as you want. And um, you just have to knit away. So it'll be for knitters. But that was for Zeta's calendar cowl. Now what else have I got? And then, um, Nan's next knots. Yes, I was behind and I've managed to catch up now. I was about two weeks behind and that's it there. And it seems to be great timing when she draws the colours. Because can you see the darker colour came out again and I'm getting these nice sections. There is no doubt. When she finishes her draw on Luck of the Draw 4, I'll have to continue. But I have written down in what order they came out. And I'll just probably repeat until I get it the length I want. So, finished objects. Now, if you've been subscribed for a while, you would remember I went on a road trip. And I had a road trip project that I was waiting for buttons for. And I finally got buttons I like. Now, if you're new to the channel, um, I went on a road trip around August this year, um, just down south. And I like, because hubby drives I, most of the way, I like a car project or an easy project I can do. 
here it is you can't really see it there I'll have to take a photo with it on but they're the buttons I found yes oops I should put it on properly it's a pocket shawl for me this is uh, Donna Wolf's V-stitch pocket shawl yes I like the V-stitch and um, I will put a photo of me wearing it so you can get a better view of it. Now the yarn. I said I am going to start using up the yarn that was gifted to me because I like to show my appreciation. I made it quite long. This is two walls of Red Heart Ombre in the colour Scuba. This was sent to me by Sherry from Sherry's Bag of Holding probably about... 2019 and it was one of her random acts of kindness straw and she sent me this and it is beautiful I this would be my second favorite color these blues but they are the buttons I wanted I want a decent size pretty buttons to go on it and this is for me um please check out um sherry's channel sherry's bag of holding I will put a link to it in the description below at the moment she is making a hat a day for her local cancer center 100 days of 100 and making 100 hats isn't that awesome that is so great that's it guys i can't think of much else to say um in summary what was there da -dum, da -dum. So yeah, because I'm on a mission to use gifted yarn, I've got some more gifted yarn that I've been looking at a pattern for and I hope to bring that to you when I have finished it. I'm not great at showing whips in case I change my mind halfway through. And the other thing is I have worked tirelessly for next year's make-along, so I hope you join in. You will need lots of different colours in your stash that you will be picking the colour but I'm really excited about it and this week I'm going to experiment with the colours I want to use and the project I want to do because I am taking myself out of my comfort zone to do next year's make-along project for me won't be a moment I just have to so guys that's it um, all I can say is when you make something for someone, um, sometimes do you get feedback that's negative and you go, oh, why did I bother? Let me know in the comments below the things you don't like to hear. The one I really don't like to hear is I could make it cheaper myself. And it's so on the tip of my tongue to say, go ahead and show me. Because <sighs> that's the sort of person I am. Anyway, take care. Stay safe. Until next time. I hope I can see your Bush Tracker beanies on the Facebook Make Along page. You can post them there. You can paste any of your projects there if you are part of the Facebook Make Along group or even on Instagram with the hashtag Bush Tracker Beanie. I'd like to see them. Bye for now.